Today I want to talk to you about coconut oil and why I use it to prevent diaper rashes. I use co organic virgin coconut oil. I got it from Trader Joe's. It's a local grocery store that's near my house. Um, I use this in order to prevent diaper rashes because it is very good for anybody's skin really, um, especially baby skin because it's so sensitive. Um, this keeps your skin very smooth. It keeps it, um, I just think that with using cloth diapers there, it's harder to whisk away the wetness. So I think that this just helps again, um, steer away from diaper rashes. If your baby does get a diaper rash, coconut oil is not going to make your diaper rash go away. If your baby has gotten a diaper rash, you have to use something with zinc oxide in it which is gonna dry out the skin. And zinc oxide, um, or, which is in diaper rash cream, is not safe for cloth diapers. So again, you'd have to either put a disposable on your baby or use a barrier in between your baby's bottom and the diaper, which there are all kinds of disposable liners that you can use for that. Um, but right now we're talking about the coconut oil. So I like to put coconut oil on my baby's bottom probably once a day or every other day. Um, it just makes her skin really smooth and it also smells really good. And one thing that I did not know about coconut oil um, before I bought it for this purpose was that sometimes it's a solid and sometimes it's a liquid depending on the temperature inside your home or where you're storing it. So. I wanted to find a container that I could keep this in because who wants to lug this around in their diaper bag? This is a glass bottle and it's kind of big and bulky. Um, so I wanted to find a container that was leak proof, which was kind of interesting. Uh, it was a little more difficult to find than I thought and something that would be easy to access and that was a small container. So what I came up with was Nalgene bottles. I say bottles because I had to buy two different kinds. Here they are. I bought these from the container store and they are awesome. They are, you know, they're guaranteed to be leak proof, which they have been. Uh, I think there's a warranty on them. If they do leak, you can take them back. Um, but this one is for when my coconut oil is a solid and this one is for when it's a liquid. Right now they're both solid, but in the summertime these will these will turn out to be um, like water. So I'll show you what I have to do. In the solid container, it has a big opening on the top. As you can see, it's not gonna fall out. And this allows me to actually scrape the coconut oil out with my finger. I almost have to use my fingernail because it is really hard. It's kind of the consistency of like, uh, like frozen butter almost. Um, and once it touches skin or anything warm, it instantly will start to melt. So once it's on your finger and you apply it to your baby's bottom, it will become a liquid. It's pretty cool. So then you can spread it around and it's really easy. Now the other container that I bought is also a Nalgene bottle and this has a little sprout, a sprout on the top, a spout on the top and there's a little tiny hole. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Um, and you just squirt it out onto your finger when it's a liquid. Now, of course, it had to be a liquid for me to transfer it from this bottle to this bottle, um, but now that it's a solid, it's not gonna come out of here. So when summer rolls around and the temperatures are warmer, this will come out very easily, and I will no longer use this because it would be a mess. As soon as you open it, it would splatter everywhere. So. This was the best way I could find to store my coconut oil. I can travel with these. I can just throw them in my diaper bag. They're not gonna spill, they're not gonna leak, and they've turned out to be a really nice product. I'm very happy with Nalgene. So I hope that this review was helpful, and if you have any questions, please let me know, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.